Hey folks, welcome back to Jerome B. Farm and Homestead. It is Friday, October 20th, 2023, and it is 90 degrees out. <laughs> Can you believe that? And there is not a leaf rustling whatsoever. It is dead calm. So a uh, good day to work on the bees. And what am I going to do today? I'm going to uh, harvest a couple of honey supers. And uh, in the fall, you're going to harvest honey. Are you nuts? Uh, yeah, a little bit. So I've got two supers I left on. These are two hives that were really strong. Let's see, it'd be uh, 13 and 14. Oops, uh, hive formerly known as 13, hive 99 and 14. Uh, were pretty strong this year. I believe they had three supers on them and in the spring and, and when I harvested in the summer, I pulled two because the third one wasn't quite done and I just left the third. So I'm gonna check those out now and see if there's any honey in there and I'm gonna go ahead and pull those off because I don't wanna leave a super on over winter, especially with that queen excluder in there because the bees can go up into that uh, super in the winter and to to survive and live off of the honey in the super but the queen can't go past that excluder and uh i could take the excluder out but i don't want my queen up in my uh honey supers laying eggs and putting cocoons in those honey super comb i want those combs to be strictly for honey and that helps with the wax moth damage because wax moths are attracted to the the protein in those cocoons and the wax moth larva will eat that up and make little webs and uh, make a mess out of your hive. So uh, on a side note, uh, wax moths don't kill your hive. Your hive got weak, wax moths got in there and messed it all up. So just as a side note comment. So what I'm gonna do is I've got my fume board. I'm gonna get those off and then I'm gonna check the weight and if they're too light, if they're not good and heavy, after I pull those off, I will throw on a top feeder and I've switched to feeding one and a half to one. So I've gone to a thicker syrup. Uh, I could do two to one, uh, doesn't really matter. Uh, Oklahoma winters are pretty mild until you get to like January, February, you might have a stretch of really cold. So I think we're still good there. Uh, I'm going to check a few other hives I've got going on down there. Let's just, just walk down there and uh, I'll show you what's going on down here on the other end real quick before we get started on this. Yeah, so here's hive 99 and 14. We're going to go in there and you can see the honey supers on there. And I've been feeding uh, my lightweight hives. The prior video you saw where I went through and I did the uh, weight check and i've been uh, frame feeding and i got a couple external feeders out here as well and uh, you can see one right there i did not install but uh, you'll see a few uh, vacant spots where i've had uh, failures and combines so right now my hive count is at 30 and i'm going to combine one probably down here which will put me at 29. so these hives down here is where the majority of the work's been going on uh, here in the fall. Uh, these hives down here are new ones that are splits and whatnot. And uh, I've expanded some into doubles, double deeps, and some are singles. Some are a double nuke, those two down there, and still have the apame going. I've decided I'm just going to leave them in that apame and uh, go with that and uh, especially since that's the north right there uh, i pulled one frame out of there because it was too full too tight so it's down to six frames and i give it a good feeding on the top so i need to make sure they got plenty of nectar in there these two uh double decker nukes are splits and or swarms and i've been feeding them pretty well so the tops of those are pretty heavy and i Moved one out of a nuke into a 10 frame, and I also did that on this one, and then uh, shortly after it decided it needed to supersede. So we need to get in there. Uh, man, it is way too late to have a unmated queen in there, so probably what I'm gonna do is, uh, if I find a virgin queen, I'm just gonna take her out, and uh, I'm gonna combine it with this hive right here, just do a newspaper combine, 
and uh, let them become one. And I need to be sure they got plenty of food. So all of these along here, uh, all the ones that got a uh, block on the front uh, like that and that. And some of these down here did have the block, but I took it off because they got up to weight. So if it's got a block on the front, it means there's a frame feeder in there that uh, I've been frame feeding internally. So we will probably combine uh, these, these two singles right here. And that'll pretty much be it for going into winter. And uh, just spot checking, making sure we're up to weight. Uh, then we'll get them into winter and then coming out of winter, We'll check them for weight again, and we'll put on uh, sugar cakes at that point if uh, they're not up to weight. With this warm weather, lots of flying, uh, lots of burning calories, burning up sugar, consuming sugar. Uh, I'm sorry, consuming the honey that's in there. So these hives can lose a lot of weight through this time of the year. So I need to make another round and just keep grabbing the back of them and lifting them up, making sure... Uh, these are good and heavy going into winter. All right, let's get uh, the fume boards on these these suckers and uh, get that honey off of there. Okay, let's uh, first things first. Let's get in here and see if we have honey. These might be just totally empty. Lots of bees up there. Like I said, these two hives were really strong and I left them a super to try and get some fall honey. Looks like we got a lot of bees up here. Use this J hook tool, pull one here out of the middle. There's pretty good coverage on all these frames. Feels heavy. Yeah. Looks like we may have a little bit that's uncapped. Yeah. So what's not capped, that's empty. So it appears we got a lot of capped fall honey there. Let me pull one more, just take a quick peek. Yeah, this looks just like that other. And check this one out. You can see some of that really dark that I was talking about. So these, that's a lot darker honey there. Plus it's wet capped, which means the honey's touching the cap. So that's one thing that makes it look darker. The caps that are light, that's called a, uh, I don't know what you call it, light cap. That means there's a little bit of air in there. So both sides. So this super here looks pretty good. Quite a bit in it. Even out on the ends. Yep. Uh, this here, the very outside doesn't have hardly any in it, so... It's not packed. Get our fume board on here. So this is, I'm using honey rubber, butyric acid, or as I refer to as cherry vomit. <laughs> there. So once I get this on there, they'll start fanning and then they'll move on down. Now let's check this other one. So after I pull these off, I wanna make sure these bees have plenty of food to last through winter, so I may have to feed them a little bit. Because when I was picking that up, I lifted the whole hive. It feels about medium heavy, but I'm also lifting this super here, and I don't know how much is in it. I don't think this one has near the honey, if any honey. Bees aren't up in here. So yeah, this one's all empty. So they probably consumed this when 
they needed the extra food when it was drought-like conditions. Yeah, this one's totally empty. Okay, let's get it off of there. Yep, so we'll go take this and get it stored away. There's a few bees on there. Let's take a quick peek up here and see what it looks like. Do us a quick wellness check on this hive. I have not been down this whole row to check on queen right, ready for winter. I have had a busy four weeks. I've traveled three weeks of the four for work and one week I took a vacation. So that looks good, we got some honey there. So I'm not going to look for the queen. I'm just going to look for evidence of the queen. Lots of pollen. So after seeing pollen, I'm going to expect to see some brood. So the brood will be our winter bees. And here is brood and larva and a yellow marked queen from last year. So I'm going to put this back and say that's good. Let's check the weight on this. I'd say this is a medium weight hive. Almost medium heavy. So it's in pretty good shape as far as weight. Clean this up. There's a few hive beetles I see. Yeah. So I'm doing this with no smoke. This is a pretty tame hive, especially this time of year. Hives are pretty protective. And that's good temperament bees right there. Now that's the inner cover from that other hive. Here's the right one. So I will probably come back and feed this one with a top feeder just for GPs, get it a little heavier. And uh, especially since it looks like it has a pretty high population, I could go down in the bottom box. I'm guessing most of the bees are in this top and not the bottom uh, just because of the, the queen was up there. Let's see how we're doing here. Pretty well cleaned out. Uh, someone was saying, and I forgot, when you put these on, you need to leave a little crack so uh, you can have some airflow ventilation and some bees will get caught and that'll give them way out. Yeah, there went one right there. There's another one right there. And I always thought, well, you wanted to leave it on like this and keep it sealed up, but I've never tried it with a little break in it. All right, let's get this off of here. I'm just gonna carry it. When I do a lot of supers, like in the summer, I'll pull my wagon down in here and I'll line it up and I'll, so I don't have to carry these really heavy supers that far. This one's not gonna be all that heavy. It's not totally packed out. Uh, I'm guessing it weighs probably 35 pounds. Possum grapes. Okay, just like the other hive, I'm going to do a wellness check on this. Queen, check for queen right in food stores. Let's see how much it weighs. Uh, this one's heavy. They don't need food. I see a lot of bees right here. I want to check for a evidence of a queen. Look at that outside frame completely full on the very outside. That's a slab of honey right there. This frame is the same. 
packed with honey. And here we've got, it was brewed at one time. Yeah, here's capped brood larva. I'm gonna go one more frame. Yeah, cat brood. I would say we're good to go here. They're just being capped off on the outside there. And here's some larvae. So this queen has slowed down. There's your pollen. That queen was probably on this frame and she ski daddled when she got a whiff of that honey robber. And we're back to a total food frame. This frame here looks like it might have some brood on it. Yep. Yeah, it looks a little better, a little more brood there. She's in good shape. Lots of food, heavy, doesn't need anything. It needs for me to leave it alone and get out of its face. <laughs> Whoa, that's heavy. Now these two frames were 2017. There's one also, three, four, some old 2017 frames. I try and rotate them out every now and then. The ones that have had brood in them. Okay, so yeah, a small fall harvest and uh, I will keep that honey for myself. I won't sell that. Uh, so while that these supers were on here, I did do some feeding out here in multiple hives here and there uh, to get some hives through uh, dearth time. And uh, there would be a little bit of robbing and that could have been bees from these hives doing some of that robbing, getting some of that sugar water over into that honey. So uh, there's a possibility it's not pure honey. There may be a little bit of funny honey in there. Uh, so I won't, I definitely would not sell that. Uh, my spring honey, my summer honey, there's nothing out here being fed at the time that flow is going on. So I always make sure of that. Uh, I will take that super. I'll let it sit for a while. I'll check the moisture content and uh, give it a taste. If it tastes good, I will uh, put it in jars and put it in my pantry. And that will be in my tea and my coffee. <laughs> and sometimes we cook with it. But that's it for the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Just getting ready uh, for winter here. This is fall beekeeping. Uh, I usually don't do much, if any, uh, fall harvest like this. Uh, just for some reason, I decided to do these two hives. So give me a thumbs up if you would, and don't forget to subscribe on your way out. We'll catch you on the next beekeeping video. Y'all take care.